Train journeys are just so much fun, especially with all the scenery around. Oh, hey there friends! I'm sure you've enjoyed train rides as much as I have. Trains are one of the best and most important modes of transport, even today. But do you know the story behind the invention of trains? Let's begin our journey. Choo -choo. Zoom in! Work in the coal mines was growing rapidly during industrial revolution in the 1800s. But they were facing two major problems. First was the inefficient transportation system of coal to different parts of the country. The carriages were being pulled by horses that proved to be quite unsuitable. And secondly, in the excessive... Whoa! The excessive water logging in the mines made it difficult for workers to dig through. <sighs> Surprisingly, the solution to both these problems was one man. In 1804, a giant Cornish engineer, Richard Trevithick, stepped in. Richard was hard-headed and curious since childhood. No one really believed in his ideas, but he proved everyone wrong. He created an engine that contained a burning hot firebox that was fed by coal and burned at a very high temperature. The heat turned the water in the tender into high pressure steam. This high pressure steam energy then passed through the machine using steam pipes. Steam from the boiler caused the piston to move one way and then the other. The piston was connected to a drive wheel and the movement of the piston made the wheel go a full circle. Richard then created an extended design in order to use his invention as a means of traveling and transporting. This is when mankind took baby steps towards a great invention, the train. This was then known as a locomotive. This creation was put to test. Richard's locomotive train traveled a distance of 9.75 miles and carried a load of 10 tons of iron. However, the locomotive was so heavy that it broke many of the cast iron plate rails, which made people doubt his creation. Richard made many more designs, but unfortunately, they didn't work out. So, he abandoned our poor little friend train. He moved on and continued other experiments in South America. In the following 20 years, many engineers tried to make the engine more feasible. But it was George Stephenson who took matters into his own hands. George was asked to make an iron road for better transportation using horses. But George being a smart man saw what our friend Train was capable of. George had always been great at improving things. He learned that the locomotive didn't create enough energy. So, he studied the design of the engine that was created by one of the engineers. Unlike his predecessor, George filled his design with more coal and boilers and used wrought iron instead of cast iron to avoid breakage. His new and improved baby was called the Locomotion Number no. 1. In 1825, Locomotion Number no. 1 became the first public steam railway in the world. It ran from Darlington to Stockton, carrying 450 passengers. For the next few years, George Stephenson turned into a very busy man. He had visitors from around the world who wanted to learn from him the trade of railways. That is what made him the father of rails. We have come a long way since then, my friends. In order to operate faster, Innovative maglev technology has been in use. 
The maglev technology uses magnets to levitate the train above the track, reducing friction and allowing higher speeds. That sounds magical, right? Let me tell you something even more exciting. Trivia time! Did you know when trains were first invented back in 1804, people were worried that the speed of the train would make it impossible for passengers to breathe. Seems weird, right? In fact, the train was so slow that it lost its first ever race to a horse. <laughs> now, can you imagine that? The longest train station in the world is Gorakhpur Railway Station in India. It is 4,483 feet long. And the world's longest route without changing trains is one of 6,346 miles, which runs from Moscow to North Korea. The journey takes 7 days, 20 hours and 25 minutes. Whoa! That's a long time, isn't it? So, I'm off to the mountains with my friend Train. Until next time, this is me zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. So you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!